Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna test this Pro Scenic M9 brand new model with dual rotating mops on the back. This is brand new. It's like a high-end spec with a good price tag. Of course, this model comes with a self-emptying dock, 2.5 liter dustbin bag with UV light to sterilize the bacteria. When the robot finish its job, returns to the dock and all the debris will be sucked into that bag. So this model, in terms of suction power, 4500, so quite powerful. We have our LiDAR system, according to the manufacturer, 27 different sensors. We got our drop sensors there at the bottom, main brush, rotating brush there. You can tell this model was built quite steady, to be honest, good material. Yes, this it's like brush aluminium finished, of course this is plastic. We got the logo there and all our sensors, I don't know if you guys can tell there. Got these two buttons, go home and power. Bumper at the front with all the sensors. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff to cover here. This is everything that comes in the box. Let's start from the left side. So we have our driveway to the dock. So these two pieces will go underneath the dock. We got our user manual, power cable, of course the dock itself and our M9 robot. We got two extra bean bags, one EPA filter, one cleaning tool. We got our standard remote control with AAA batteries, it's a plus. We have the two rotating brushes there for the mop and two extra pads when those get dirty. I forgot to mention there's also a rotating brush, an extra one. You know, like we normally do, we're going to put it to the test here at the studio. We have two different types of carpet. We got the short pile there, longer pile there, and good thing we have this hardwood floor to test as well. We're going to drop some obstacles on the floor. So we got the sock here, the cable, just a plant. We're going to put it on the floor. We got some crumbs, skittles, kind of, and we have our app remote control. So let's just set it on okay so let's start by placing some of these on the floor here we have our cable let's place our octopus sock there okay guys so as you can see the floor is quite a mess now let's start the testing we have our map here, the LiDAR 5.0 generation help map the studio there, but I still need to do the full out. So I'm going to show you the app later on, but for now, let's just click start. And then later on, we're going to test the mopping, not on the carpet, of course. So let's see how this robot behaves here. We got our sock there, and this floor is quite a mess, guys. With its carpet detection, sometimes you can see it bumping the suction power in terms of noise. It's not too bad. Yeah, guys, you can see it straight away circling the plant. Don't know if you guys noticed, but I already set that red area which is that section there has yes, some wires so I said it as a forbidden area so the robot avoids that section there as per usual normally it goes around the edge of the room and then it will start that clever movement of going in access in the inner section okay so it got the sock. All right, so let's just pause it. And it got stuck in the brush. So guys, socks, don't leave it on the floor. The robot will get it. Yeah, he 
is not recognizing the cable as well, guys. So what happened to the cable? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so cable, yeah. Avoid leaving cables on the floor, guys. Okay, in terms of speed, looks quite fast. And it already picked all this section here, right there. Wow, I just noticed this section is all clean. So we got a few bits of pasta there. Let's see. Yeah, guys, just a few bits here and there. All right, so he's returning home. It's quite fast, but he left some bits to clean. I think we need a second pass, to be honest. Let's do an assessment of the floor. So we got some bits left here and there. Same here, so one there, another little bit there. Other than that is fine. And here on this edge, you left those little bits. All right, I reckon we need a second pass. Let me just kill this fake plant. Yeah, in terms of obstacle avoidance, he recognized the leg of the desk, but he bumped into it twice. Let's see what's happening with that leg there. Yeah, now it was fine. Nope. It's probably because it's too low. You can see in real time where the robot is. What I notice is that these robots tend to stay on the edges for quite a while. I think they are probably programmed for that because the majority of the dust will stay in the corners. It's not doing the classic S movement throughout the floor, like that. Okay guys, so it cleaned everything apart from these two pieces of pasta. These are, might be quite heavy, so yeah, that's that. Apart from that, let's have a look at the floor. Yeah guys, all gone, hardwood floor, all gone, cool stuff, let's have a second look. Yeah guys, looks alright, now it's returning to the dock on its own. I think I set it to every two cleans to empty the dustbin, so I think you should empty the dustbin now, let's wait. So guys, the, the app itself is very straightforward, rotate the map here if you want to do a manual dust bin collection this button can set no go zones partition areas and custom mode or order so you can say depending on the room to pass twice or no mopping or mopping and the cleaning order for each room within the house as well so this is quite handy so you want to start in the living room every single time you can do that and you want the two passes for the living room etc you can also do that here you can set it to just mop a section to go to a certain room certain area or spot the spot is just for example under the table you can set that spot there move it there and start cleaning history so it will keep a record of every single clean you do auto collect dust option remote control you got one on the app and of course the standard remote control and you can also turn the leds on or off yeah guys not too much to the app very easy to work with so while on carpet you should remove this like a normal mop pad so you kill the accessory and when you are in when you want to mop the floor just put it back on of course don't don't forget to put some water here i normally put a, a little bit of product as well okay so as you can see mopping system working quite all right so 
so guys on the app here you can see it's doing a new map bear in mind that first time you use it you need to map the old house let the robot return home so the map can be saved if you don't do that he won't save the map so it starts over every single time let me just show you here you got different suction power modes and water flow so no suction and got three levels so all the way to the max medium same with the water flow so got three levels here yeah, guys look at that I think this does a way better job than the normal mopping pads yeah looks good you can see the line there where the robot has been which is that line there this is the table bit with all the legs from the chairs and the table itself yeah corner sofa there it's mapping this um, room quite well yeah one thing I'm not sure is went over the carpet with the mopping on so it should avoid that I'm not sure if this is normal or not normally when it detects carpet it will stop but this one yeah it didn't so yeah that's that I'm not saying this will replace a manual mopping because it's always different and better but it will definitely help you on the daily tasks vacuuming and mopping your floor of course you can use a remote control to operate it Yeah, guys I do recommend after you finish mopping remove the accessory for some reason this is dropping water I'm not sure if this is normal or not yeah guys quick editing the issue is still there I do recommend remove the water from the container when you do not want to use the mop Hopefully I give you a good explanation of what this robot can do and cannot do. I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out the current price. Yeah, I do enjoy this model having the emptying dock there. Quite powerful suction. The LiDAR system worked quite all right. It did a good job here at the studio. I'll keep you up to date. If you want me to test anything in particular, please comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, guys, click the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. Like always, thank you very much for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one.